I'd like to start out um, by saying uh, the respect that we have for K-State and their program. Um, on Saturday, they, they were the aggressive team. They took it to us. Um, and I, th I thought that really helped us today because the respect we have for them. Uh, our guys knew in our preparation uh, that we had to be at our very best. So uh, we're fortunate. Uh, the areas that we focus on with paint points, points off turnovers, second chance points, fast break points, those are the things that we really try to hang our hat on. Our guys did a tremendous job keeping their focus on those areas and making sure we had made enough place to, to do okay today. Okay, remember to raise your hand. We'll get a wireless mic to you as soon as possible. Please give us your name and your affiliation when you ask your questions. Questions. Okay, we've got one. Um, let's start right here on the left, third row. Coach David Smale, Field Level Media. I got a couple for you over here. Uh, first of all, thoughts about Baylor, Cincinnati tomorrow night? Do you have a preference? What are you looking for? And then I have a follow up. Yeah, I'd say both, uh, you know, really good teams, very well coached teams. Uh, certainly Cincinnati's done a tremendous job um, with how they've played here. They've got a lot of momentum going in their favor. Um, with Baylor, you know, tons of respect for Coach Drew. Obviously, we had a hard-fought loss, uh, you know, down at their place. So, um, and they're playing great. I mean, they really are. So, we know whoever we play uh, is going to be a really good team who's very well coached. Uh, and they're going to be ready for the challenge. So we just got to get, get our rest and uh, be prepared for whoever we play to be at our best come tomorrow. And then how concerned are you with one of 14 from three-point range? If we defend and we rebound and we share the basketball, um, you know, I don't think it's going to be a factor, and it wasn't a factor tonight. Okay, let's go to the right side here. Payne Blazovich, 24-7 Sports. Coach, you mentioned that rebounds were going to be an emphasis going into this matchup. What did you see from that effort, and what kind of importance did second chance points play? Yeah, I think it was a, it was a huge factor. It's always going to be a factor for us. I think these two guys next to me uh, did an unbelievable job of screening, bringing physicality to our offense. Uh, what that did is it opened them up for more scoring opportunities and put them behind the defense a lot in great offensive rebounding position. And then it's something that we do every day. We work on offensive rebounding every day, whether it's finishing at the rim or kicking it out for the shot. So I give all the credit to, to Trey and, and to Rob because they imposed their will physically on the game, uh, in the paint, on the glass, and all the effort-based things. And really proud of these guys for doing it. Okay, let's go over here on the left, third row. Coach Alec Bussey, 24-7 Sports. You talked about the need for your bigs to screen yesterday. Uh, both of your guards shot better than 50% from the field tonight. How much do you think that their screening opened things up for both Taman Lipsy and Keyshawn Gilbert? Yeah, I think it opened things up uh, tremendously. Our balance offensively was great. Uh, we shared the ball. We played for one another. Uh, it allowed us to get to the foul line at a very high rate because we were able to keep the ball on the move, spread them out, and then pick our spots. So I give Rob and TK all the credit in the world because they made the offense go. Even though they're both you know, front court players, they made it all go. And that's what they're going to continue to do. That's where our focus has been. And uh, you see what we can be when we do that. So really proud of both these guys. Come here on the front row. Uh, Matthew Poston's Heartland College Sports. Robert, then Trey. They got it down to one. You went into the media timeout up through. What was the message defensively? Because it seemed like you guys, you guys came out of that media timeout and you really ratcheted up the pressure. and create a lot of turnovers? Uh, just staying, staying active, staying and continue to do what we do, uh, being OK with getting stops, being OK with being physical, being OK with uh, coming back and getting more and more, and then giving more to, the, to our teammates as well. Basically what Rob said, you know, uh, we're, we're a defensive-minded team, first and foremost, and we pride ourselves on getting stops. So uh, when we saw you know, the lead was cut down to one, we you know, made it up in our, in our mind you know, just to really focus on getting those stops and being disruptive and getting back to what we did. And our team did a great job of responding. We're going to go over here to the right. Uh, Christian Royston, Iowa State Daily. Uh, Rob, what worked well for you today? Because you weren't just hitting well from the field. You also made nearly all of your free throw attempts. Yeah, uh, I wasn't focusing on what I was doing well. I was just focusing on the little things. Uh, that's, that means getting stops, being physical on the offense and defensive end, uh, doing what I could control, and then the ball came back to find me. Okay, let's go on to the right again, uh, about five rows back. 
Coach Rob Collins, Fox 4 here in Kansas City. Do you believe that K-State deserves a bid in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I, I don't uh, spend a lot of time following all that stuff. And um, man, I just try to focus on what's in front of us. I, I do think that K-State's a really good basketball team. They're very well coached. Um, certainly the season they had last year going to lead eight, um, you know, they're a good team. And I think they're playing better now uh, maybe than they were, you know, a few weeks back. So. Uh, I'll leave that those type of decisions to people that are far more qualified than myself. Let's go on the left side here, about four rows back. Coach Sam McDowell with the Kansas City Star. Um, Kaluma was a major part of getting them back into the game. They seemed to be playing through him with, with the ball. What was it you guys were able to adjust to, to turn that around? Yeah, they were you know going with the big on big ball screen and putting Arthur in some spots where he could attack. And uh, we just tried to be more aggressive at the point of the screen instead of switching it. Um, you know, be more aggressive with, with two to the ball, try to make him pass, and then do a great job when he had it in space, loading our defense up and rotating a little quicker, and felt like we were able to do that. I'm going to be on the right side about the third row back. Pam Blazovich, 24-7 Sports again. Coach, uh, what did you see from Omaha today coming in in kind of a substitute role and giving you guys really good minutes off the bench? Yeah, Omaha did a great job. I mean, he's... Uh, he works hard every single day. He, he gets the work in, and he's been ready when we've called his number. Certainly was the case here tonight. Uh, I've, I've talked to him a lot about you don't have to get ready if you stay ready. He's done his part that way, so happy for him, proud of him. That opportunity came his way, and, and he really stepped up and gave us some great minutes today. So um, we'll continue to count on him as we move forward, and uh, we, we have all the confidence in the world that he'll continue to play well. Let's go on the right side on the back, third row back. Logan Shanks, Iowa State Daily. Coach, how were you able to turn over so many, uh, get so many turnovers against Kansas State, a team that kind of switched that category for you guys on Saturday? Yeah, we got back to doing what we do defensively, trying to be the aggressor, pressure the basketball. Um, that's what we hang our hat on. Thought Saturday we were, whether we were tired, behind plays, lost some focus, I don't know what it was. Um, and then, you know, credit to them. They did a great job Saturday. They, they, were, they were ready to play. Um, but I just think today we, we really understood reconnecting our habits, our identity, who we are, what we do. Uh, we've been really good at turning people over all year long, and that's something that we take pride in. And fortunately, our guys were, were focused, pressuring the basketball and doing that today. Got time for a couple more. Any takers? Seeing any coach. Tim Day, you got anything smart to say? <laughs> okay. Right. Figured Thanks as much. Well, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You bet. Good luck to y'all.